only 28 days to the general elections, political temperatures continue to rise following the recent attack on the judiciary by Jubilee Party leaders. However, Kenyan National Commission on Human Rights has come to the defense of the Chief Justice David Moraga led institutions timing Jubilee's attempt to banish the judiciary a breach of constitution and the principle of separation of powers. As Article 59 commissions, we view these utterances as veiled threats to the judiciary and the IBC, uh, whose effect is nothing but the emergence of the excesses of Kenya's political class. The commission was quick to call for respect for the courts, which are the ultimate arbitrator during disputes. And in a statement to media houses, Law Society of Kenya Chairperson Isaac Okero termed the attack by Jubilee leaders on the judiciary unwarranted and a threat on its independence. Such was sentiment shared by the chairperson of the National Gender and Equality Commission, Winfred Lichuma, who warned they risk eroding public confidence in the institution. The Constitution of Kenya under Articles 160 and 249 have laid down elaborate mechanisms that guarantees the judicial independence, as well as independence of constitutional commissions and independent officers in execution of their mandate. But Jubilee leaders led by the National Assembly Majority Leader Ed Nduwale would hear none of it. Decisions that are coming out of the judiciary of late 